So uh, my name is Paul Neal. I just wanted to show uh, a quick way to be able to filter out uh, morph targets uh, using soft selections. Um, the idea being is if you've more, uh, created a morph target such as this, here's the original. Uh, the character's in a neutral pose. Here's the, um, uh, the, the, the targeted face that has uh, a bit of a morph target going. I've been actually sort of purposely sloppy with it. I've added the morpher, <coughs> morph target um, to morpher here. And you can see when I'm sliding it up and down, the whole face is moving right and left. And the eyebrows, I've even ended up with, uh, with you know, part of the neck moving and whatnot. It's because I've been using the freeform modeling tools on this uh, model. Um, and I was uh, you know, just using shift, and it was grabbing everything under the sun. But the idea being is, is that we've created a, a right, left, and eyebrow. So we've got this overall facial morph, but we want to uh, turn it into pieces um, with soft areas. And uh, we, we need to somehow um, filter this out. Now, one of the features of Morpher is the ability to be able to take any target and, uh, say, use vertex selection. Problem is that's a, a hard vertex selection. It doesn't uh, uh, take into account um, the uh, uh, um, uh, soft selections. So we can't get any nice blending if we need to blend it across from one to the other. So here's just a quick way to be able to uh, filter this out and be able to turn this into multiple targets um, and, uh, and, and still just be able to use this target. So I have another copy of the head. Uh, this is just the default target in its uh, neutral position with no modifiers on it. I'm going to the target now and I'm actually going to add in the target I'm going to add Morpher on the t uh, target and I want to add the default and crank it up to 100 so that we've actually morphed the face back to its starting point. So then to be able to start uh, dealing with the uh, um, where we're going to sort of we want to be able to paint in where Morpher uh, isn't going to work for all intents and purposes. We want to uh, paint in an area that it isn't going to work on. So uh, in Edit Poly, down the Edit Poly level, we're going to add two modifiers. Uh, one of them is going to be um, uh, Vertex Paint, I think is under here. Vertex Paint. So we're going to go with the Vertex Paint modifier. And I'm going to uh, slide this up and down so you can see it all. And above Vertex Paint, I'm going to add a Volume Select. So Selections, Volume Select. And in Volume Select, I'm going to say Select Vertices. And I'm going to invert that selection. So it's actually going to invert it, so it deselects it all. So you can see now that it's, uh, it's popped back um, and not passing the selection up the stack anymore. So our, our morpher has been overridden, essentially. Um, so it's, it's not passing anything to it. And now down the Vertex Selection, uh, vertex paint, sorry, we can paint in or, or paint out whatever areas we want. So let's take a look. Uh, the current uh, color of this is actually white. So it's, and we have to think of it all sort of reversed. <clears throat> so let's actually just do a quick flood on it and we'll flood it out. Take our paint into white. and we can now start painting. Currently right now, uh, Volume Select isn't working on the create, uh, correct channels. It's currently um, just selecting by uh, box. What we need to do is we need to say, select by a texture map. And the texture map that we're going to use actually is going to be, um, let's just make this smaller, there we are. Uh, we're going to use Vertex Color and we're going to say vertex color and you can see now that we can actually paint in as we paint I can actually paint in where what area is going to be affecting and, and by the um, or in this case it's kind of backwards because the volume select is inverted I'm, I'm basically painting in the selection that isn't going to be affected by the morpher above it. So now I can go in and I can uh, softly paint in. Of course, use uh, the opacity of the paintbrush. And I can paint that in as needed. Make sure that it's, it's getting the look that we're looking for and, and the areas that we're going for. Of course, I'm using a, a Wacom tablet here. So I've got, uh, you know, uh, soft, um, you know, brushes and uh, you know, weighted brushes. So I think I'll take a bit of the nose here in the corner. And 
now what we can do is we can rename this, um, you know, rename, all right, mouth, right mouth corner. And I'm now going to go back to our target, back into Morpher, and reload the target. See now that the target is now only affecting that one area. So I can simply go up the stack now. I could make copies of this if I liked, or I could uh, go up the stack and I could uh, keep making copies of the uh, of the uh, vertex paint. You can do that easily by using the at the very bottom of the vertex paint dialog here. You'll see the new layer, uh, new vertex color, and it opens again. I'll just drag it down below the uh, volume select. Now this one's going to override the previous one, and we can just uh, paint right on top. So again, I'm just going to flood it real quick with black. Just dial up to black, and whoops, we'll dial up to black. Flood it real quick. Uh, oh, I haven't got my opacity all the way up. Flood it real quick so it disappears. Let's go back to our white, and I'll just pull my opacity back down, let's say, and I can go about creating the right side and paint in the area that I'm going to have affecting this one. Maybe a bit of the nose here. So this is going to be our left. Left mouth corner. And what's nice now is, is that I'll just go and add this uh, to our targets here. So now in Morpher, I'm going to add it as a new target. And I can then turn that up. You can see now that I can get two sides working. Looks like I've got a little bit of the other one loaded. I was making a bit of a, a movement here. It looks like I've probably painted into this side a little bit. I can also go paint in black and get rid of the selection now. If I wanted to reload the other side or, or go back to the original, I can just simply turn off the um, uh, vertex paint modifiers above and work on the other side again, and then go back and work on this one. So I can just turn them on and off uh, as I go up. In this case, maybe I, uh, I took on a little too much. So same thing, we're just going to go in, I'll just paint it. Make sure you get rid of that corner of that mouth, uh, or corner of that nose, sorry. Um, and, uh, and work from there. Just back into white, make sure I get all of the uh, corner of the mouth 100%. And I can even use blur brushes here. So there's a blur brush here. So you can even go in and, and, and blur it a little bit if you want to soften the selection a little more. Looks like I grabbed that again, a bit my mistake. So I'll just go in and just paint that back into black. And back over to Morpher. And we can just say reload that target. Now I wouldn't reload all targets doing what I'm doing here because the problem is is that we're using one target for both sides. So if I said reload all morphs, essentially both of them are driving the same side. This might be a reason why you want to take and use um, multiple heads so you can hit the reload all uh, solution. But uh, you know it's easy to correct. All I need to do is just turn this one off and we'll go back and we'll reload just the one side, and there's our uh, targets. So now we could go about breaking out the eyes or any other part just from using one target, and uh, and um, uh, you know sort of simplify our workflow a bit, so we can model one head and and have that one head uh, represent multiple targets, and just filter out what we're looking for. I hope you enjoyed that.